Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about semaglutide and when you can expect to see results. First, I'm going to share a clip with you from Dr. Apovian. She is the co-director of Brigham and Women's. She is a professor at the Harvard Medical School, and these are her thoughts on semaglutide. These new medications that have come out, what do they actually do in the body? These new medications are analogs of naturally occurring hormones that your body makes when the food goes through your intestines, those cells in the intestine makes these hormones and the hormones go to the brain and say you're f Many people ask when are they going to see results on semaglutide. But first I'm gonna talk shortly about how semaglutide works. Semaglutide is a, what we call a P1 receptor agonist. And what that means is just it acts on certain receptors in our body. Turns out some of those receptors are in our brain and some of them are in our gut. So one of the things that semaglutide does is it's gonna act on the brain and it's going to decrease our appetite. Also, it is going to decrease how quickly food moves through your stomach. And so the impact of that is that we fall sooner. Uh, another thing GLP-1 does is helps insulin work better. So essentially in response to a meal, you will secrete more insulin to really keep that blood sugar down. So those are the three main ways that semaglutide works. But let's get to the, the question at hand. When does someone expect to see results? Well, definitely it varies. And what I can tell you, what we see in clinic is certainly by six weeks, we've seen some type of result. So most of the people we see is going to be anywhere from two to six weeks, though I've seen it take a little longer, possibly two months. There are people that even take longer than that and could be up to three months. And yet there are some people who are not going to respond to it. In the trials, 23% of people did not achieve a meaningful weight loss. So it turns out there are a few things that are going to impact when you can expect to see results. So one of the things is obvious, or maybe it's not obvious, but your diet. So if if you are on a calorie deficit diet, obviously that's going to be helpful. If you're consuming foods that are going to help promote weight loss and exercise is really important in regard to maintaining weight loss, but it also is going to help us lose weight. So those are some of the main factors that will impact the results, but how do we maximize it? Like how do we really maximize those results? So really first thing is to address those factors that impact it. So one is the diet, really making sure that you are in a calorie deficit and making sure that we're eating foods that promote weight loss. In fact, we have a complimentary course. Check the link below. The course is about how how to lose weight without starving. And in that, you'll learn what foods really will help promote weight loss along with some other tips. So moving on. So making sure that we are eating a calorie deficit diet and foods that are going to help promote weight loss. Another thing, exercise, of course, and it doesn't have to be in the gym every day, but 100 minutes a week will be stellar to really see good results. Another thing to help maximize those results is really to make sure you get enough rest. And when I say sleep, if we are sleep deprived, it's gonna be really hard to lose a weight or get the maximal benefit from it. Another thing that actually helps with getting the best result is actually getting a buddy or doing weight loss with a friend or family. You can hold each other accountable so you're not doing this alone. So those are some of the key things that will help maximize the result with semaglutide or actually any weight loss medication. So what kind of results can you expect? So let's go to the uh, trial that got semaglutide approved for weight loss. And that trial was thousands of people so they followed them for 68 weeks and I don't know that's a long time that's 17 months and so the average weight loss over that time period was 15% and so the average weight of individuals was 232 pounds so if you do the quick math on that is about 35 pounds so over 17 months people lost about 35 pounds which I don't know about you but two pounds a month I would not write home about but one of the things about this medication is that the weight loss was consistent month after month yes people People have plateaus, but in general, the weight loss was consistently throughout the trial. And that's what we see in clinic is consistent weight loss. Now, so what we see, actually what we're seeing in the trials too, is that most of the weight loss was in that first six to nine months. 
It wasn't that people were losing two pounds a month for the whole time. It was more they lost a majority of the weight in that first six to nine months and then slowly lost a little bit more towards the end. At that six to nine month time period, people who were not actually getting on medication started to slowly gain weight back. The people who were on medication continued to slowly lose more weight. So in general, what we see is people losing anywhere from four to eight pounds a month. And that is one sustainable, but also is healthy. We don't really want to lose three, four, five pounds a week, particularly for a long time, because it will have negative consequences later. So with semaglutide, you can expect to see results for the majority of people who are going to respond to it somewhere between two and six weeks, though it could take up to three months. It works by decreasing our appetite, slowing our gut down, and really stabilizing our blood sugar. People who get the maximum benefit from it are following a calorie deficit diet. They are eating foods that serve them and are exercising. Ideally, they are doing this with a friend or family member. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Otherwise, check out one of these videos on weight loss.